DPMLA that represents North Belfast and I think tonight you were all supposed to have Sammy Douglas here. He's a very good friend and colleague of mine, uh, one of our representatives from East Belfast. And Sammy himself knows what it's like um, to be touched uh, directly and uh, indirectly uh, with mental health. And this afternoon I got a phone call from his son to say he wasn't well, he's in NA. And would you do this? And my first instinct was, it's Friday night, please David, not a Friday night. And he says, I'm going to send you through the information, have a look at it and get back to me. He sent me through John's story and I had a good read of it and I phoned it back and I said, yeah, I'm definitely going down to that. I want to be part of that because, you know, I just personally thank God for the grace of God go I some days. None of us know what lies ahead in our life. None of us know what's around the corner. And none of us know how we could ever cope with that or handle that. And I have to say, you know, I, I don't believe there's anybody in our, our wee country that's never been touched in some way, either directly or indirectly by mental health. So I am so happy to be here. I've been here in this wonderful building before, so it's good to come back again. I have some friends here as well, Fran and I sitting in the committee together and taking me a big hug when I walked in the door as well. So uh, that just tells you something in itself, I suppose. Um, so I'm very glad to be here and John I wish you all the very best. I think you're doing a fantastic job and getting that message out there, especially to men, where men do not talk about things, they don't discuss things, they don't discuss, especially mental health as well. It's not something, because sometimes it's seen as a weakness even, but it's not, it's a strength that you have, that you have come forward to do this. This is wonderful, I love your art exhibition, I go to many art exhibitions and this is up there with the very best of them and uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> Say to me, other half there, if you've got your wallet with you, because uh -huh. that's not the that we do. But uh, well, thank you very much, and well done. I'd like to make a message sensitive about Sammy because I, I, I know my very good friend Carly um, could show Sammy a picture of the, the picture I took of the cranes. That was six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> uh, in the 10th of March last year. I, I, I used, some mornings I'd be out at five in the morning, you know, uh, me, and the, me and the bold Toby. And he is bold. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but, uh, you know, when I, when I met Sammy in his office up in eight hours old, I have to say I was very moved. But, because I could see that it was just me and him sitting in a room talking and he was telling me about his brother and, you know, and other family members. And, you know, I've always heard some fantastic reports about Sammy. You know, he's very, very community, community spirited. He, he does a massive amount of work, he, you know, and all that type of stuff. Uh, and I have to say, when the two of us just sit down in the room and talk, I could see her body affected, the, the loss of his brother, and, and that, you know, and East Belfast, and West Belfast, North Belfast, South Belfast, is all body affected by this illness, and the loss, the loss of life. So it is. So I'll be making sure to get all your to him, and, you know, and let's keep him in our prayers too.